Welcome back to Tony's Garage. Uh, I'm back on the 58 Chrysler right now. Um, I'm actually in the process of pulling the engine out of it. Um, kind of an update on it. So this is a 383 big block 727 torque flight. And this motor has to go back to the guy that I bought it from. Uh, that was part of the deal when I got this car. Uh, plus it was locked up, but I actually got it unlocked. Uh, which he had it soaking in stuff too, but I worked on it a little bit and got it unlocked. But um, anyhow, it's coming out to go back to him. And I have a 400 big block that I got from my brother with a 727, you know, and so on and so forth. So basically that 400 I'll have to freshen up and whatnot. It was freshened up a few years ago, but it had some issues and it's just been pulled out of the car sitting in the barn for a few years so i'm gonna regasket it and clean it up and whatnot but it's kind of an update as far as what i'm doing uh this motor's gonna come out uh hopefully tonight and um get that back to him then i'll go ahead and clean the engine compartment up the best of my ability and i don't know i'm probably gonna go ahead and just black it all out to match the outside um i'm pretty back and forth on what i'm gonna do with the outside paint it actually turned out really good, like I stated before, which is a little dusty now. It's been sitting in here a couple weeks, but um, I've noticed that it still scratches really easy, and I've had it in the sun quite a few times. It's been like three weeks, and it's still scratching uh, just by, you know, kind of rubbing your finger on it. It'll leave a scratch or a, where you can see it, and I don't know if there's a way about doing that, getting rid of that, but I don't really want it scratching all the time so easy, so I'm not sure exactly what to do. I told you, I think in the last video, that I think about doing a lace roof. And I don't know if I'll do the spiderweb stuff. It was an idea. Uh, you know, spiderweb lace. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. It looks a little cheesy. I might just have to do a different kind of lace. I'm not really sure. But either that or I thought about, um, since I spent all this time doing this paint and whatnot, I think I said something about it already. I'm not sure. But go ahead and just maybe wet sand it and buff this and make this a gloss i don't know if i can really do that with satin paint uh, it's just a single stage enamel i don't know why i couldn't um but if it's gonna scratch this easy with just touching your finger on it that's not really what i'm looking for uh the cheap part was nice but the maybe the downside is how easy it's scratching i'm not sure everybody i've talked to said this john deere blitz black is pretty tough stuff but if it scratches with, just by touching with your finger, I'm not really sure if that's very tough. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to get back to pulling this motor out. Um, like I said, the other motor I've got is 400 at big block. The other motor has a, not a really big cam, but a whiplash cam and a huge whiplash cam. Uh, so it'll, it'll be a decent runner. I mean, this one's a 383 big block, though. Probably a little more powerful than that 400, but it'll still move the car around pretty well, so... Anyway, I'll uh, get back to work and I'll add to this video when I get this motor out. Welcome back to the second part of this video. Uh, wish I had somebody here to help me hold the camera so I could record getting the motor pulled out, but I work alone and, uh, well, the motor's out. So I managed to make one hell of a mess when I did it. I wrapped the trash bag around the end of this tail shaft, wrapped it in tape so that way it wouldn't make a mess. Well, then the cross member caught it and ripped it and well now i got a mess but this 383 is out um i'm gonna start getting ready to put the 400 in it um while it's apart i'm probably gonna go ahead and clean up this engine compartment some i don't know if i'm gonna paint this firewall black or not but i'm gonna at least paint probably these edges black and clean up this area and i might even go ahead and bleed the brakes and check out the brake lines while there's no motor in my way where the lines are and whatnot so uh Anyway, just kind of a quick update. I'm going to get to cleaning this mess up, getting this one out of my way, so I can start on the other one. Uh, I guess I'll just see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.